Hello everyone, here is some motivation and inspiration for your AI, anatomical intelligence. And today I'd like to spend a few moments with the hip itself. And we use in the Nina technique imagery to connect to this body part. We can imagine butterfly wings on the pelvic side or that I'm in a bowl. And the intelligence of this structure is amazing. For us in the movement itself, one beautiful piece for me and my self-healing has been the sensation of my thigh bones connecting into the depth of the hip joint. And there is an intelligence there with an inward rotation that needs to happen every time I shift weight from one leg to another. So there's a slight inward rotation in the thigh bone. And the intelligence I'd like to communicate this week is the one that we have in our closed stance. And I often get the question, why is it in Nia that the heels are not together? Well, if I stand and put my heels together, I will limit the amount of energy that can flow through the chakra system and all kinds of systems. But it's not the same as when I open the heels, pretty much the size of a piece of cake. And I actually bring the hip into an inward rotation. So our closed stance, that first movement we often do, is a training to connect to the intelligence of this anatomical part that wants to internally rotate every time I take a step. And uh, don't miss it. You want to sense it. And if you feel far away from your hips as a structure, put your fingers in the crease, bend and hide your pubic bone, and you want to sense your fingers disappear into that joint itself and have a landmark where you can connect. And there you want to sense an inward rotation in the closed stance. So walk this week with a lot of swag, a lot of rotation, and keep exploring the wings of the pelvis when you move and dance in the cross front. Keep dancing into the bowl of your pelvis. And uh, if you are a Nia teacher, invite your students to sense these intimate details. Thank you so much and enjoy your hips. Ciao.